season wore on, Jer Garman had a very, very se productive second half of the season. And UND, in fact, Norberg is the only running back on the roster this year that carried the ball in any game last year. And he really stepped up last year in a lot of games. He ran the ball hard, north and south type of runner. Did a really good job coming in last year. And the red shirt is off. Brady Oliveira, number five, the true freshman from Winnipeg, Manitoba, just made his first carry. And Brady Oliveira has a, a real distinct combination of strength and speed. 5'10", 220 is Oliveira. Three yards on his first collegiate carry. Go to work here in Oliveira. Stopped, uh, not much gain there. Mac Barron, the defensive end, made the stop. Brady Oliveira won from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and this coaching staff has uh, again made Canada a recruiting piece. Uh, they really believe that there's good talent up there. We've seen it through the years, whether it's been Scott Schultz, uh, a lot of good North Dakota players have come from Canada. Milson Jones years and years ago. And Brady Oliveira from Winnipeg. Studrud under pressure, breaks free of the tackle, and then dropped to the turf. That was Tanner Evans, the junior defensive end, that clogged that up. I'll tell you what, Dan, we, we got to give credit to this Drake front seven. I mean, North Dakota has not been able to do anything as far as moving the ball, running the ball, those kind of things. You know, they've been able to take their shots downfield and, and pass it, but they've had no success running the football. 16 carries, 23 yards rushing for North Dakota here in the first half, a stark contrast of what they did in Laramie last Saturday. And it's third and a bunch. Third and 18 for North Dakota from its own eight-yard line. Studsrud, good time to throw. Brandon Walker makes the reception at the 24-yard line, but a couple yards shy of the first down sticks. Clock running now with 2.13 remaining in the half, and the punt team will come on. Brady Oliveira, the true freshman, will go to work. 2,200 yards, 34 rushing touchdowns in his senior season last year in the Winnipeg High School Football League. Studsrud throwing, Seibel catching, and Seibel sidesteps his way to the 40-yard line on the far side of the field. That's, another, that's a smart player right there, too. Picks up some more yards, but smart enough to know, i got to get out of bounds right here. Gets out of bounds, takes a little bit of a shot here. I don't think he was very happy about that. Gave a little deke to John Bloss, and then was able to get out of bounds. Studsrud has attempted 21 passes here in the first half, and certainly that is uncharacteristic for a Paul Rudolph offense as the run game has been tough to get going. And there's Luke Fiedler with his first career catch. The big tight end from Florida hauls it in. He redshirted last year. Studsrud under pressure and throws it away. You know, Paul Rudolph will tell you, he thought that Studsrud made three great plays, particularly last week in Wyoming, and two of them were actually throws out of bounds to keep the possession going and live for another day. Yeah, exactly right. Things that, you know, you can live with throwing the ball away. You can live with punting sometimes, but just don't throw interceptions. Don't try and make too many plays to where it comes back to hurt your offense. All right, third and 11 here, or third and one, rather, for North Dakota with 39 remaining in the half. As they near midfield, looking to maybe tag on some extra points here, leading 21-0. Oliveira, no. He's not going anywhere. Met by Huggenin. And it'll be fourth down. And I tell you what, that, that Drake front four is just, they're doing a terrific job. Getting off blocks, getting up field, getting on the ball carriers. Well, the clock is running here with 14 seconds remaining in the half, and UND will 
take a three touchdown lead to half but uh, certainly the run game an area of concern for North Dakota here in the first half with 17 carries and 21 yards. Oliveira returns to the running back spot for North Dakota. Oliveira has carried three times, just a yard combined on the three attempts. From the Drake 28 yard line with 1040 remaining here in the third quarter. North Dakota going to work leading 21 nothing. Studsrud has good time. Now he's got to try to flush to his right. But tripping him up is the middle linebacker Taylor Coleman. He's had a good day. He wants to, wants to run. If, if you get four or five yards on first down that's terrific. Oliveira returns to the running back spot for North Dakota. Oliveira has carried three times just a yard combined on the three attempts from the Drake 28 yard line with 1040 remaining here in the third quarter North Dakota going to work leading 21 nothing Studsrud has good time now he's got to try to flush to his right but tripping him up is the middle linebacker Taylor Coleman he's had a good day defensively for the Bulldogs yeah he has and you're right Keaton had time at the beginning okay. inside linebacker comes in here and gets him late come that you know it's pretty easy for the defense to know what's going to go on right now they haven't been able to run the football but I think Keaton's done a good job when he's had time he's made big plays Brady Oliveira the true freshman from Winnipeg will carry and that's his fourth carry of the day his most productive carry Oliveira 5'10 220 played at Oak Park High School in Winnipeg already UND coaches believe he's their best pass catching running back out of the backfield. Yeah, they've, they've mentioned that, that they feel the most comfortable with him in his hands. Adler is the fullback here. Studrud rolling out, looking, and Adler takes it to the 30. I think this is a play that North Dakota could get. You know, with Drake starting to bring a little bit more pressure, you can sneak this fullback out into the flats here and you know, pick up a solid four or five yards each time. UND four of 16 on third down conversions today. That's not great, but it's four better than Drake. Drake is 0 of 13 on third down conversions today. Studsrud looking, looking for Stanley and overthrows him. So the North Dakota offense back out on the field with 3.14 remaining and Brady Oliveira, the true freshman running back from Winnipeg, will get some work here. Saw his red shirt come off earlier today. Oliveira, four carries, four yards, but that's kind of been the tone of the day. North Dakota has 30 rushing attempts for 19 yards. 30 for 19 and not much there for Oliveira. About a two-yard carry as he was tackled from behind by Al Wegener, the defensive lineman. I mean, I'm glad that Brandon Anderson got up. He got his leg bent underneath there, and you could hear him scream from up here, but you know, luckily he uh, he's okay. They have all those guys wear those knee braces, and I think it's the smartest thing ever because they get things like that all the time. You get rolled up on, your knee gets caught, and you know, like, like I said, good to see that he's still back in there. The left guard, Brandon Anderson, senior from Sartell, Minnesota, has started all but one of his games in his career here at UND. One of the four captains this year for North Dakota as well. Adler is the fullback. Oliveira will carry again for UND. Oliveira this time shreds an arm tackle and takes it to the 35 and a first down. I think that, that's what Coach Rudolph has wanted all game right there. Guys to hit the hole, have space, and get going. Good job. That's what he brings you right there, too. He's got strength. He's got speed. And he's able to hit those holes and get going. Timeout on the field. Oliveira. One of a couple of 
Canadians as uh, we're initially part of this past recent recruiting class. You touched a little bit on the on Canada, Dan. That is that is going to be a hot spot for North Dakota. You know, you're close to the area, and, and the coaches believe that there's a lot of talent up there that can come down and play. Mason Bennett is a true freshman defensive lineman who is also part of the recruiting oh. class from Winnipeg. Seventh time today, North Dakota has put the ball on the turf. This is a scrum. The Bulldogs say they have it, and they do. With 2.08 remaining in a 10-point.